Hello my friends and welcome back to our continuing plan let's play Dead Rising for PlayStation. My name is the Footless Pirate, this is your Story Biscuit channel and today, today we have about three hours more to survive and then we have to get to Isabella. I'm going to try to do what I did the other day but I failed, which is to get myself to that grocery mart where I can get uh, food and I'm going to try to hold up there for a little bit trying to get I don't know, maybe two or three more levels. Farming uh, Spec Ops, guys. Let's see how it goes, shall we? I hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day today. As we get started already with getting shot at. That was a lot of damage I just took. Like, seriously, that was a lot more than I expected. Looks like there's another Spec Ops guy over there. Gotta get those guys quick. Like, just before they're gonna fire at you, you gotta hit them. It's kind of what you have to do. And you gotta pray they don't fight early. Well, I got lucky on that one. Very, very lucky. Okay, I'm not gonna go looking for these guys right now. Because I think that the more priority should be to try to make my way to the food store with as much life as possible. Hmm, yeah, I agree. Because I think last time I tried jumping down to like attack them, and that cost me quite dearly. I think what I could also do is double back around and grab another chainsaw. Because I have no idea how much life is on these chainsaws. And I think it's important to make sure I have full chainsaws. That cost me right there. That cost me. Who? I really should use this as much as possible. I carve these guys up as much as possible. But I'm gonna replace the chainsaw. No reason to not use it. I think my little drop kick thing did enough damage where I only need to use the chainsaw once on them. That was pretty cool. So now what is the objective? The objective now is to get to the food processing uh, seven. I hate that wall, I hate that wall, I hate that wall. Okay, I don't have much time here to farm. I don't have much time here to farm, but... I could probably farm here, I think, for like... I mean, I had to be back at Isabella by ten. So technically, I could probably farm till nine, which will give me two hours. The draws this game is, it's quite a bit of time. So what, about 20 minutes, I would guess? Any more? Kind of weird to see only one of them there. Wow, I just got lit up. I got lit up horribly there. Wow, that guy just wouldn't go down. Oh, level up! How close was I to a level up before, I wonder? I must have been really, really close. Man, that sucks. When you realize how close you were to leveling up.
That was a bad idea. I didn't know it was replaced by a shopping cart. I mean, I didn't know the shopping cart was replaced by a chainsaw. I thought I could just grab it and use it, but yeah, that yeah, yeah, didn't really work. I didn't take any damage there. Okay, that was good. The good news also is there's a bike here, so I can probably get to Isabella really, really quickly. I hit that wall, I hit that wall. I think I just blew up the cash register. That was pretty cool. I think there's more back here. Oh, that was cheap. Orange juice. I thought it was orange juice back here. I like orange juice better than meat. It heals faster. So I guess what I do is, is I just make like a loop of this place. I don't know how much of an exciting content this is though, so maybe I should uh let it cut. I mean if I'm be doing this loop for like two hours, it's mostly gonna be the same thing over and over and over again. And at this point there's literally no chance of me dying either. Because you know I can easily heal up. That was a good jump. That was a really good jump. Man, I'm just eviscerating these guys right now. Look at that. I just did a run where I eviscerated like eight of them. That was pretty cool. There's like two out here. What? You didn't hit me. You didn't hit me. Nonsense, I say. Oh, there's a single one. Okay, good. I've seen gotten pretty decent at this pattern. Cool, we got life up that one. I'm still waiting for the uh, the really awesome level up when I get speed. Because getting that third pip of speed is probably going to be game changing. What? Where the heck shot me? Was it that? What the heck? Where the heck is shooting me? Where did you come from? It's like a magical dude disappears. Yeah, this is a beautiful route. I think this works amazingly well. And I think I can do it like once every 10 minutes or so. Which means I'll be able to increase my levels by... I said two to three. Maybe a little bit more. Sorry if this is repetitive. I really don't know what to cut in this game. Like, seriously, it's one of those things where surviving is a part of the game. And... And that's what I'm doing, even though I'm sort of being repetitive. The heck? Where did you come from? There's no one here. Where did you all come from? I was just like spot the heck, there was no one there a second ago. 
Okay, I just want to make sure Ned spawned behind me that time. Because they, like, literally spawned on top of me multiple times. Get some milk instead of OJ. I could really do something with some milk for OJ right now. That sounds absolutely amazing. Time check. 8, 10. I think I'm going to try to hit level 37. And then we'll move on. Now, I think it's faster if I just enter and exit rather than try to find those two. Because there always seems to be two, like, right here. In all seriousness, if I just saw my friend get chainsawed up by a crazy guy, I don't think I would want to stick around and fire at him. Okay, time check. 820. Like I said, I think I, I think getting level 37 is a very, very realistic thing right now. And then I think I should head out early. I should not play with time because you never know what's going to happen. There's that level up. New skill mastered. Uh, mastered the neck twist skill. Okay. So I need to hit this save point. Like I really think I need to hit a save point. And just nail that guy. That felt that was so good. Oops, that sucked. Woo! Alright, I know I can save at Isabella. Whoa, the game is... Whoa, what the heck is going on? Oh, this sucks. Just get to the save point before the game crashes. Just get to the save point before the game crashes. Save the game! Save the game! <laughs> Oh my god, I think I just booked the game somehow. Yep, uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna reset. Oh, thank god. The, uh, the, the major slowdown is gone. The only problem is, I think my bike is gone too because I had to reload. Which really, really sucks. Oh, it sucks. It really, really sucks. Gatorade! Gatorade! Alright, I'm, uh, I'm kind of losing my mind right now! Really wish I had a bike. Really wish I had a bike. Really, 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 really wish I had a bike. Further. I think it's like right here, right? Right there. Oh, I got lucky there. I swung way too early. Thought I had plenty of chance to run past that guy. The game's like, nope, we're gonna get to make sure that you take a hit. Okay, I yes, I'm here incredibly early. I had to be here by 10 o'clock. I'm here way before 10 o'clock. Am I okay with that? The answer is yes, of course I'm okay with that. Uh, so I am just gonna chill here for about an hour. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill here for about an hour and I'll see you in an hour. Two hours. There's a lot less of you guys now, isn't there? Uh-huh. That's right, someone had chainsaw marks. Like, hey, these were called by zombies. Who did this? If 
future sequels, we come back as a psychopath with deal wielding chainsaws. <laughs> yourself. I think it's so cool just because you have an army of machine gunners. What the heck? Why did he kick me out way over here? Let's talk to Isabella. It's almost time. Don't worry about me. Save yourself. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, I tried. So, somehow, we have to get all the way back in less than two hours. And I've already wasted some time. And now I'm wasting more time. And I'm so screwed. <laughs> Alright, uh, plan of attack, flightless bird. Save room? Teleport? Or go out here. I think going out here is faster. But there's a helicopter outside. But if I go out here... It, it's probably longer than going out here. Where is everyone? All the zombies are dead. All right, let's just go this way. I want to try to avoid the helicopter. Because that is annoying. Oh, everyone's just dead. Okay, I've never gone this way, but hopefully it takes us to Wonderland Plaza. Because then we can hit the save point there. I have never gone this way before. How cool is this place? Everything is dead. Uh oh. Oh, that was just his own transition. Okay, that was his own transition. Uh, so we're in the top floor. So if I take a right here. No, there's no enemies around. I mean, what do I have to fear? Absolutely nothing. I mean, I had two hours. That's plenty of time when I have nothing to kill. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this chainsaw, replace it, get a brand new one. Shoot, I didn't know that would hurt me. Ah, uh, that was dumb. <clears throat> that was really, really dumb. So go this way. Go to Paradise Plaza. You can also drop a save here. And I think I have plenty of time. Like, seriously, I have time. Let's go refill my HP. I don't need to fill anything else. I have four health, five, I have five health drinks? I know I had five health drinks. Okay, I have five health drinks, that's a lot. Uh, let's just go over here, get some OJ. Wow, look how peaceful the mall is all of a sudden. Plenty of time, and I was worried, but then again, I thought I would have to clean myself through a ton of security, ton of special forces, a ton of zombies. Nope, you don't have to do any of that. Anyone in here? Ah, that is so weird. <laughs> that is so weird, and I have to clean my way through there. Okay, we go in here. And thank you so much, Dragon of Darkness, for 
let me know about the uh the upstairs area i don't think i've ever been to the helipod i never thought to go up there hope i didn't miss anything up there the entire game Uh, here. Helipad. Plenty of time. Dang, are you serious? I'm gonna have to wait here for another hour? I was too fast to get into the helipod? Ah! You know, there were plenty of times this game where I wish I had an extra hour to do something. Or an extra two hours to do something. And yet... When I actually get that extra time... I'm annoyed by having that extra time. a nice picture of a parking lot. Nothing suspicious happened here. It's like the only thing they're gonna find me is that picture. And they're gonna be like, who the heck took a picture of just a uh, parking lot? And why? What is the purpose of this picture? And I'll just be like, I had to wait an hour. And I was bored. I just took a picture of a random parking lot. Alright, well... I guess I'm in here for 12. So, I'm gonna spare you that wait. Three days survivor, September 22nd, 12 o'clock. We did it. Although I feel bad about Isabella. We could never do anything with her. I mean, I tried. I just didn't want to come along. So after all this time, we get stood up in the end. Is the only way back through the special forces? That's disappointing. Well, I'll be damned. He's still alive. That son of a bitch made it. That must mean he got his scoop. I can't wait to get my share of the take. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Alright, when he gets stood up. It was just hiding a giant helicopter from us? He must be he must have been on another roof. Yeah, that's probably what it was. He was on another roof. Which means he he's been sitting there watching me for like an hour, just chilling on top of the roof. Dying of heat. You just hang tight, buddy. I'm on my way. Just sit there and watch me. It's kinda of creepy. I think I can see the helicopter coming in the distance. It's a cool shot. I, mean, I want to get off the helipod. What about all those special forces? They're not going to bother him? Oh my god! Where the heck did he come from? Oh my god! Stealth zombie! Well, again, that's really disappointing. How did you not know there was a zombie in there, dude? <sighs> Another person we couldn't save. Great, now what? Oh, the zombie's coming for us. Uh, Frank, I know you're screwed. But don't just sit there. Uh, we could try to find another way out of here. Frank, Frank, Frank. Uh, come on, Frank. Like, snap out of it. Overtime mode! Heck is that? Unveil all cases and be at help out at noon. Uh, how, how? Okay, I don't understand how that's overtime. 
that we got there on time. But fair enough, I guess, which is a really disappointing ending. I mean, there is multiple endings, so... I obviously didn't do what I was supposed to do to get the right ending. I don't know what else... I mean, I guess it's one of those things where... Maybe I had to save, like, X survivors or something in order to, uh, win. Well, I got an ending A. I mean, isn't that probably the best ending? The A ending? You would think, you would think it's the best ending, right? So I got 15,000 PP for a photo, 30,000 survivors, uh, 30,000 for a zombie kill count, and game player 50,000. That's another, that's another, what, one, two levels? Excuse me, sorry, I got a hiccup there. I mean, like I said, though, it's a bit disappointing because... <sighs> I mean, that ending kind of sucked. Mega Man Testament added special force boots, prisoner garb, overtime mode. Wait. Wait, that says overtime mode. September 22nd, 1215. The game is still continuing. The game's not over. That was a false ending. Game. How dare you do that to me? Wow, he really was just gonna let him eat him. Thankfully, Isabel's a good shot. Frank has entered psychopath mode. So Isabella now? I kind of suck. I really like my chainsaws. Although that would be a really cool twist. You're awake. Oh, how, thank God. how the heck did you get him back here? I mean, he's not a small guy. He's a big guy, like a football player. Here. Yeah, it wasn't easy. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. How did you do it? Are you, like, I secretly the Hulk? I collapsed. No, I... Wait. Does that mean... You... You must have gotten yourself infected somehow. Wait, we're infected? I mean, we have been through a lot. <laughs> the time between infection and zombification differs greatly from person to person. You're lucky, Frank. How we get infected? How does this we work seem anyway? To have a very high level of resistance. So, uh, <laughs> so what you're saying is that I get to spend longer waiting for the inevitable. Is that it? <laughs> I, I think, I think he's broken. You know, or Frank, I'm not sure lucky is the word I'd use. Helicopter crashed. No one's coming to help us now. It's over for us. No matter what we do. What if... 
What if there was some way to impede the infection? What do you know? If we could extract and administer a large dose of hormones from the corpus alatum of an adult queen, it would potentially hinder the growth of the larva in your blood, retarding the zombification process. Hang on a sec. I don't understand a word you just said. What are we supposed to do? I'll need certain supplies to get this to work. And queens. As many as you can get your hands on. <sighs> All right. Sounds like a plan. Should be sitting around here waiting to die. As many queens as possible? How many is many? I'm not sure I can do all this while I just got from all. I got all my all though. 24 hours remain until Frank's zombification. Okay. I mean, I can get... I can get infinite queens. Question is, how many do I need? Because I only have... What? I have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 10 inventory spots. Actually, I wonder if I can uh, give her the queens. Long. Can't do it here though. I have to go outside. Cold spray. Whoa! There's a ton of stuff here all of a sudden. Well, Estelle's fine lady cosmetics. I got to find an appropriately sized. Perfume bottle. So I guess I gotta do all these quests in 12 hours? Or 24 hours. So, Paradise Plaza. Sean's Food. That's close by. I think I saw a couple of vendors in some of the restaurants. Why is that a goal? Security room. I think I saw some coffee filters sitting on the desk. Why the heck do we have to do all this? First, let's... First, let's test the, uh, the B idea. No, I, I think I can just string it up here, though. And do I give it to her? I'm not sure I can do it with supplies guy from mall. I'll go with my all though. What did I do with the bee though? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, well. Sells fine ladies, entrance plaza. Cam's camera paradise. Sports high entrance. Wonder jewels, wonderland. Security room. Various blenders. Shion's, I should probably do that one first, it's close by. Paradise. I just don't know what to do with the bees. She said she needs bees and yet she won't take the bee that I have. So what's up with that? Also, this place uh, empty still? Oh dear God. They got drones with machine guns attached to them. Oh, this is gonna be hell. This is gonna be hell on earth right here.
This is gonna suck. All right, so I need to go up and around. I think that thing is chasing me. What the heck? It's like a hundred of them. Level up is nice. Good timing on that. Hmm. There's a couple over there. I don't want to deal with them. Base pressure skill. I don't even know if I can hit that thing. It's so high up. I think I can destroy the cash machine. Those are cool. I'll be back here. Cool, the first aid kit does not count as, it doesn't count as a, um, as an item. It, it's, it doesn't count as an item in my inventory. Where's our next stop? Blender's various restaurants. Uh, Sport Trains, Paradise Plaza. You know, going to Paradise Plaza may not be the worst idea. So basically what I can do is I can go to Paradise Plaza. There's also something down here in Wonderland, right? So I can go down here to Wonderland. I can go to Paradise Plaza. <sighs> put some in the food court. That's probably the Blender's. Uh, I go to Paradise Plaza. And then for Paradise Plaza, I go to Entrance Plaza. So I think that's like my route. Kind of like how it's just a security now. I only have to really worry about one thing at a time. Okay, where is this? Uh, is that upper or lower? It's it's lower. Wonder duels, yeah, it's lower. Oh! I didn't even see that guy there! He was literally standing right in front of me and I didn't even know it was there. Okay, there's a magnifying glass. Out of my way! Woo that was fun. Is there a blender one? Get off, get off, get off. Blender. Ah! Can I kill this thing? Take that, stupid little drone. Fortunately, I can't take my bike in the next area, it seems. Really nice if I could get off the bike, gotta come to a complete, complete stop. All right, uh, now what? Um, uh, nothing in the Alfresco Plaza, so just GTFO. Although what I can do.
I can't go save. Yeah, look at all the devastation here. This is nuts. I saw that guy and I couldn't hit him. It was distracted by my flailing. <laughs> All right, entrance plaza right here. There's a drone to the left. Ignore the drone, ignore the drone, ignore the drone. All right, <clears throat> we are going good. We are going good. We are going good. Now on this one, there is a lot. I don't know where things are. Cold spray, uh, sport trans, paradise plaza, security room, uh, entrance, paradise, um, entrance. So Estelle's fine lady and sports high. Estelle's fine lady and sports high. Okay, so sports high is on the lower floor. And. Well, that's annoying. And then that's not annoying at all. That's like right there. That literally is right there. That, that That's a good thing. It's, it's, it's right above us. Got white hair now. This is what this place has done to us. Yeah. Yeah. Looks styling now. Okay, we need to go back downstairs. And we need to head to the far end of this area. So this is the one that's annoying. That one was right there. This one's a little bit worse. That thing's firing at me. Zigzag. Zigzag. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, this is fine. Just, just don't stop running and we're fine. Someone turn out the lights. That's cool. All right. Sharp dresser. Ooh. Right here. Okay. Now what? Uh, developing solution. Took two shots off that. That sucked. Cam's camera, paradise. Security room. Four trans, I think that's also paradise. Okay, um, but the skip room is right here, but I don't think you can get in that way, right? Because I tried that before. I definitely tried that before and it didn't work. Who turned off the lights? There's always time to try to refill your life. Who knows, that one pit may have just saved my life. Probably didn't. Nah, probably didn't. You never know. Just never know. I can't believe you hit me. I can't believe I could have go through the front door. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. All right, uh, let's see. We definitely need new shoes after this. That's right. Ooh, look at the purple socks. Those look awesome. They look awesome. I don't know if I like the shirt or not, but the, the socks are cool. Alright. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's a second floor here, so... <clears throat> that's it, camera's camera. 
And Spore Trance. Yep, those are it. Got it? Stones are really annoying, by the way. Especially if you can't, like, hit them. And that noise is a really, really annoying. Up, up, up. Is it in here? Nope, it's not this door. It's the one behind it. It's not the coffee filter one, it's the cold spray. Just look at me the arrow to help me guide my way. Where did you all come from? Where is the item I need? Where is the item I need? I think it's upstairs. Yeah, I think it's upstairs because look, the arrow's like slanted upward. There it is. God, oh, yeah, that thing's annoying. Shut down. So, if I need bees, maybe I should replace some of my ungravables with some of these. Because these make bees. And if not, at least I have healing items. Dive. Go ahead and just drop these here. Grab the hand. Now you can do that. Maybe I should keep one of these just in case. Where do I drop? I also don't drop the B. Hit that dive! Alright, well, let's keep one untouchable and we'll keep your nectar. I don't know why I made all those drinks. Now that I think about it, that was really, really dumb. But whatever. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Coffee filters is a security room. We can get there. And we can get back to Isabella. We are more than okay. Is there a Mega Man helmet here? Oh, dang it. I wonder why I got that Mega Man helmet. That was cool. That was really cool. Twenty hours, fifty-seven minutes. Of course, this guy's had to be here. Although I did get a level up. Speed! Yes! That was cheap. Am I really going faster though? Like, I don't see that much of a difference from um, level 2 and level 3. I mean, compared to like level 1 to level 2, level 2 you were zooming around all over the place. This kind of feels the same though. I mean, maybe it's slightly faster, but not as big of an improvement. It's not what I was hoping for. Okay, the coffee filters. Alright, <clears throat> let's drop a save here. And then I think what I gotta do is I should probably head back to Isabella. It'd be really nice if she told me how many bees I needed. 
Although I do have the potentiality for five bees. Which I think is a really good number. Five is a good number. Alright. Really? You're up here? Really? You're up here? I mean, there are special forces. I guess they'll be gunning down from up top, but still. It took a Jeez. lot of damage. Wow, I just got shredded coming back. Absolutely shredification. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, go back up and heal. Hate those things. Now, if others we get a machine gun, you can kill those guys. I know, but it's kind of a lot of work. I don't like the machine guns as much as the chainsaw, even though chainsaw is limited. And what it can do, it still does the job really, really well. Jeez. Well, I want to go through the uh, the save point area. I don't know if it's the best way to go now. I don't want to go outside because I don't want to deal with the helicopter. The helicopter is still here. I mean, that's part of my ideology here. Ideology? Idea. Well, it's part of my idea here. Avoid the uh, helicopter. Now, I could go straight back to Isabella, but what I think I'm gonna do is, uh, refresh my chainsaw. I may be doing this a little bit much, but to be honest, I really don't know how long my chainsaw lasts. And I don't wanna be stuck in a spot where I'm surrounded by a thousand Zombies, although there doesn't seem to be any zombies left, but still the possibility could still happen that I'd be surrounded by a thousand zombies And I want to be surrounded by a thousand zombies for the chainsaw that breaks Now I do have two chainsaws, so that's good, but still It's one of those things where I'd rather be overly cautious than uh, foolish Okay. I did get everything right. Like, I'm not just imagining this. I did get everything on the list. Yes, I did. Is this the uh, food court right here? Can I grab a bike? Because that would make my trip to uh, Isabel a little bit easier. Funny, I could drive it properly. Could go and get food, but I'll probably get shot on the way back. I'm only one pit hurt. Save point there, I don't really need it. It should be okay. I can always save when I get to Isabella. A little bit further, take a left. Too far. I just got shredded, but I'm fine. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. No worries. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Ah, good. I was worried that I would come back and nothing would happen. So, this drug that stops the parasite growth Have you ever made it before, or is it just a theory? When I was working in the medical lab, my brother asked me to research a method of suppressing the parasite. Of course, back then, we didn't extract the hormones directly. We synthesized them in the lab. <laughs> so, he was looking to protect himself from his own terrorist scheme. He wanted a way out, is that it? I don't know. 
I know he didn't bring the drug with him here. I have no idea what he intended to use it for. You think I'm just making excuses, but Carlito kept things from me. <laughs> even if this, uh... Even if you do manage to make this drug, it won't completely cure me, will it? I'm afraid not. Hmm. When the effect wears off, the parasite will develop as it normally would. So I'm dead either way. Continuing the zombification process. Fat lot of good that does me. Mm hmm. Yeah, what do I do now? Yeah, look at those eyes. Okay, good. Whew, I was this about to say. Need as far as supplies are concerned. I need to know what to do. Now all we need are some queens. Yeah, uh... Listen. Just tell me how many you need. I can get them for you. Just how long do you suppose your drug will prevent me from turning into a walking corpse? During my research, I was never able to conduct proper clinical studies. To a certain extent, the period of effectiveness depends on each patient's physiology. It could be a year, maybe only a week. There's no way to tell for sure. Fantastic. So, I'll be a walking zombie time bomb. A time bomb? What? What? Oh God! Don't Once tell me the there's a bomb here. Was complete. Carlito poured his energy into starting an NPO dedicated to helping war orphans. We had 50 doses of the drug prepared. Not long after that, the NPO managed to find homes for a large group of children. Want to guess just how many? these kids and then gave them your drug oh dear lord that he made 50 little ticking time bombs oh dear lord i don't know i just don't know it is possible though Look at this New york DC, all over LA. these kids are spread all over the country this is how the walking dead started dead rising if secret prequel right, the entire country could be crawling with zombies by now I don't know what's worse. That we don't know for sure that we can't warn anyone about this. Well, what we need to do right now is prepare the hormone and get you taken care of. Okay, well, how many coins do we need? The generator's working out. I can't walk without power. You've got to be kidding me. Must be a backup power generator somewhere. Call you was using a clock tower for storage. Maybe left one there. Are you up to Frank? You need to check the clock tower. I can't work without power. Okay, at least we know what to do. Fair enough. But that's gonna have to be the next episode, my friends. I love you all so very much. We are in overtime mode. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> uh, I love you dearly. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time. So long, and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter, and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.